In the heart of Africa, nestled among lush valleys and towering mountains, lay the kingdom of Azuri, a place where the sun kissed the earth with warmth and the rivers sang lullabies as they flowed. Azuri was a land of abundance, peace and prosperity, much of which was attributed to its beloved ruler, King Tafari. Known for his wisdom and fairness, King Tafari was adored by all his subjects. Under his rule, the kingdom flourished like never before. However, a morning arrived that would change the course of Azuri's fate. As the first rays of dawn crept into the royal chambers, a startling discovery was made. The king's crown, a magnificent creation adorned with the rarest jewels and said to be imbued with magical powers ensuring the kingdom's prosperity, was missing. News of the disappearance spread like wildfire, casting a shadow of unease over the once vibrant kingdom. King Tafari, ever calm in the face of adversity, addressed his people. He declared that the crown must be found, for it symbolized more than power. It was a beacon of the unity and strength of Azuri. In an unprecedented decree, he announced that whoever found the crown would be granted any wish within his power to bestow. This is where our tale begins, at the cusp of adventure and mystery, as three unlikely heroes come forward to embark on a quest that would lead them through trials of courage, wisdom and heart. Little did they know, their journey would uncover truths far greater than any treasure, and the real magic was not in the crown itself, but in what it represented for the people of Azuri. As the sun dipped below the horizon, casting long shadows over the village square, a sense of anticipation hung in the air. The villagers of Azuri, from the eldest to the youngest, gathered around as King Tafari's proclamation echoed through the land. Among the crowd were three individuals whose hearts stirred with a mixture of excitement and resolve, Ayo, Kioni and Zara. Ayo, a young villager with a spirit as bright as the savannah sun, dreamt of adventure beyond the familiar fields and streams of Azuri. He saw the quest for the king's missing crown as his call to greatness a chance to prove his bravery and perhaps change his destiny. Kioni, the village elder, was as wise as the ancient baobabs that dotted the landscape. Her knowledge of the old ways and the mysteries of nature made her an invaluable guide. She felt a deep, unspoken connection to the crown's disappearance, believing it to be a sign of a deeper imbalance in the world. Zara, Unmatched in her skill with the bow and her courage in the face of danger, was driven by a fierce loyalty to the kingdom. Her resolve was as sharp as her arrows. Finding the crown was not only a challenge, but a duty to the land that raised her. As King Tafari's words settled over the crowd, a silent agreement formed between Ayo, Kioni and Zara. They would embark on this perilous journey together, each bringing their unique strengths to the quest. Under the cover of night, they set out, guided by the stars and the whispers of the wind, into the unknown. Their first destination was the enchanted forest, a place of legend and lore, where the ordinary laws of nature bent in the presence of magic. It was said that Anansi, the trickster spider known for his cunning and wit, held knowledge of the crown's whereabouts. To find the crown, they would first need to seek out Anansi and earn his trust, a task easier said than done. The journey to the enchanted forest was fraught with challenges. Ayo's bravery was tested as they navigated through treacherous paths, his quick thinking saving the group from more than one peril. Kioni's wisdom shone like a beacon, deciphering the signs of nature and guiding them safely through the dense thicket. Zara's prowess as a huntress ensured their survival, her arrows never missing their mark, whether it was to provide food or protect her companions from lurking predators. As the trio ventured deeper into the forest, the air thickened with enchantment. Shadows moved of their own accord, and the trees whispered secrets in a language only Kioni could understand. Finally, they arrived at the heart of the enchanted forest, where Anansi made his home amidst a web of silver threads shimmering under the moonlight. Anansi, with eyes as sharp as his mind, greeted them with a sly smile. Ah, seekers of the crown, you have braved much to stand before me. But finding what you seek requires more than courage and strength. It demands wit and wisdom. Solve my riddles, and I shall guide you to your heart's desire. The challenges that Anansi set before them were unlike any they had faced. Riddles that twisted the mind, puzzles that tested their resolve. Ayo's courage, Kioni's wisdom, and Zara's quick thinking were all put to the test. 
With each challenge they overcame, Anansi's respect for the trio grew until at last he revealed the path to the River of Reflection, the next step on their journey to finding the missing crown. The River of Reflection was no ordinary watercourse. It was said to mirror the soul of whoever gazed into its depths, revealing truths that many were not prepared to face. It was here that the true test of their quest would begin, a challenge that would require them to confront their deepest fears and desires. As dawn broke over the horizon, Ayo, Kioni and Zara stood at the river's edge, ready to face whatever reflections awaited them. Little did they know, the journey through the river of reflection would change them in ways they could never have imagined, drawing them closer to the missing crown, but also to the truths within their own hearts. The river of reflection lay before them, its water still and as clear as crystal, mirroring the sky above and the souls of those who dared to gaze into its depths. Ayo, Kioni and Zara each took a moment to steal themselves before stepping forward, their reflections merging with the mysteries of the river. Ayo approached the river, his heart pounding in his chest. As he looked down, he didn't see his own reflection, but instead a vision of himself standing alone in a vast, empty savanna. The vision spoke to his deepest fear, being insignificant, forgotten by time and history. The voice of the river whispered, challenging him to cross a bridge that appeared fragile and perilous, a physical manifestation of his journey towards significance. With each step, the bridge swayed and the vision taunted him, but Ayo pressed on, his determination growing with every stride. When he reached the other side, his reflection smiled back at him, not because the journey had ended, but because he had faced his fear of insignificance and found the courage to define his own worth. Kioni, wise and serene, stepped forward. The river revealed a world in disarray, nature out of balance, and the knowledge of the ancients forgotten. Her fear was the loss of wisdom, the disconnect between the past and the future that could lead her people into darkness. The river challenged her to reconnect the broken threads, a task that seemed insurmountable. However, Kioni's wisdom was not just in knowing, but in understanding the interconnectedness of all things. She began to weave, her actions symbolic, restoring balance with each connection made. As the image in the water cleared, showing a harmonious world, Kioni understood that wisdom was not just to be guarded, but shared and nurtured for the future. Zara, with her unwavering spirit, faced the river next. Her reflection revealed her greatest challenge, a world where she was no longer able to protect those she loved. Surrounded by shadows, her bow broken, the scene struck at the core of her being, her fear of powerlessness. The river whispered, urging her to look beyond her physical strength. Zara closed her eyes, focusing on her heart, where her true strength lay. As she reopened her eyes, the shadows dissipated, not by her hand, but by the collective strength of those she had inspired to fight alongside her. The reflection showed a united front, a testament to the fact that true power comes from the heart and the bonds we forge with others. Having passed the River of Reflections trials, Ayo, Kioni and Zara found themselves at the edge of a clearing, where the ancient and majestic Cave of Echoes awaited. Its entrance was guarded by a figure both formidable and serene, the Guardian of the Crown, a spirit as old as the Kingdom itself. The Guardian spoke, You have shown courage, wisdom and heart, but one final test remains. You seek the King's Crown, but do you understand its true power? The trio entered the cave, where the air hummed with ancient magic. They were met with a final riddle, one that required them to combine their strengths. As they pondered the Guardian's words, they realized that the crown's power was not in its beauty or the wealth it represented, but in what it symbolized, unity among the people of Azuri. With this revelation, the back of the cave illuminated, revealing the king's missing crown, resting upon a pedestal of stone. It was not hidden away, but placed there for someone worthy to find, someone who understood the true essence of leadership and the value of unity. As they emerged from the Cave of Echoes, the crown in hand, the journey back to Azuri felt different. The challenges they had faced and the truths they had uncovered about themselves and each other had changed them. They were no longer just a villager, an elder and a huntress. They were guardians of Azuri's spirit, embodying the very essence of the crown they sought to return. Their return was met with jubilation, 
the people of Azuri gathering to witness the return of the crown and to celebrate the heroes who had retrieved it. King Tafari greeted them with a warmth that felt like the embrace of the sun after a long night. To Ayo, Kyoni and Zara, you have shown us all that the strength of Azuri lies not in a crown, but in the hearts of its people. Your journey has reminded us of the importance of courage, wisdom and unity. You have each earned the right to a wish as promised, King Tafari declared. Ayo, Kioni and Zara looked at each other, knowing that their wishes had already been fulfilled in the lessons learned and the bonds formed during their quest. In unison, they asked for the kingdom to always remember the values that their journey had highlighted. The courage to face the unknown, the wisdom to guide the way, and the heart to unite. King Tafari smiled, acknowledging their wisdom. So shall it be. The tale of the king's missing crown will be passed down through generations, not as a story of a lost treasure, but as a reminder of the true treasures within us all. The tale of the king's missing crown did not end with the return of the physical crown to Azuri. Instead, it marked the beginning of a deeper understanding and appreciation among its people for the values that truly sustain a kingdom. Ayo, Kioni and Zara became legends not for their deed, but for embodying the virtues that make a kingdom prosperous and peaceful. As years passed, the story was told and retold, each time reinforcing the moral lessons at its core. Courage, wisdom and unity were not just ideals but practical virtues that guided the people of Azuri through times of challenge and change. The crown, once a symbol of power, became a beacon of the kingdom's collective strength and character. The tale teaches us that the true foundations of any society lie not in the wealth of its treasures, but in the strength of its people's hearts and minds. It reminds us that leadership is not about possession, but about guiding with wisdom, courage and a heart that seeks to unite. It highlights the importance of each individual's journey towards self-discovery and the role of collective effort in overcoming obstacles. The King's Missing Crown is more than a folk tale. It's a blueprint for building a community that values the well-being of all its members, recognizing that true prosperity comes from a shared sense of purpose and mutual respect. In this story, the crown's disappearance was not a loss, but an opportunity for the kingdom of Azuri to rediscover its core values. It showed that sometimes, what we seek outwardly is already within us, waiting to be recognized and celebrated. The greatest treasures are found not in material wealth, but in the lessons we learn and the connections we forge along the way. And so, the moral of the tale is clear. The strength of a community lies in its courage to face the unknown, the wisdom to guide its path, and the heart to unite its people. These are the true crowns we should all seek to wear, the crowns that never go missing and that no one can take away. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel for more captivating and enchanting folktale stories. See you in the next story.